Hi, today I would like to show you how to upgrade RAM, SSD and hard drive in ASUS ROG Strix Card 2. It seems to be easy task, but in practice I had really hard time installing the new hard drive. So if you worry about breaking something, this guide is for you. My unit is the 2019 model with RTX 2070, but it's the same process for any GTX ASUS SCAR 2 or HERO 2. In the description you can find recommended storage drive and RAM compatible with ASUS ROG Strix SCAR 2, as same as the laptop itself. I include Amazon links for US and UK residents. If you want to know more about this laptop, you can check out my review with comparison. To skip to any part of this video, you can use the timestamp that I also left in the description. I'm Chris from techfindsreview.com and now let's get to work. Alright, to get inside we need to remove the bottom panel. There is 12 screws that are very small so we will need a small screwdriver to remove them. I will speed up the video not to waste time. Now when you remove the screws you will need some thin piece of plastic. Around the edges of the bottom panel there are little tabs still holding it in place. I found a plastic card so I will be using it to make the tabs let go. I suggest you to start from the power input side since this is the easiest spot to start with. You have to simply slide the plastic into a gap between the bottom panel and deck and then try to pull it up carefully. When the first tab let go you know what to do next. Slide the card around the body of the laptop but don't push it too deep to not damage the ports or insides. Alright, so here you have your NVMe SSD, this is your 2.5 inch hard drive and in the middle you can find two RAM slots. If you would like to disconnect the battery before you start changing components, here is how to do it. Be really careful and don't forget to connect it back when you finish your job. Let's swap out the hard drive first. As first you have to unscrew four screws holding it in place. Now stop for a while because this is the most important part. Let me explain. This little part here connects your hard drive to the motherboard. The orange flat cable goes under your hard drive and here is the other side of it with SATA connector that is connected to your hard drive. Now the thing is that it's very easy to unplug the cable from the motherboard side but if you want to plug it in back it's really hard to do and you can eventually damage something by accident. My suggestion is that if you can manage to unplug the SATA connector from hard drive side without taking out the cable from motherboard, it would be the easiest and safest way to swap out your hard drive. So let's do it. Alright, now we need to remove the caddy from the hard drive. There are 4 screws on the sides. So here is my new drive, I'm using Seagate FireCuda SSHD drive that can work nearly with the same speeds as SSD but only with programs, applications and games that you use the most. The advantage of it is its price, it costs about $10 more than regular hard drive and you get the performance comparable to SSD so that's why I'm using it as my storage for games and programs. If you're interested you can buy it on Amazon, I left the link in the description. Alright, so now place the caddy on the new drive the same way as it was placed on your old drive. If everything's fine, connect the drive with SATA connector and place inside the drive bay. Now screw the screws in and it's done. Now if you accidentally disconnected the cable from the motherboard, here is how to connect it back, but be very careful to not damage anything. Now I'm gonna show you how to add RAM. This is very simple process, just take one RAM stick and slide it into the slot at an angle. Then press it down until you hear a click. If you want to take it out, on the sides you have two little tabs. If you push them both, RAM will pop out. In the description I left list of RAM compatible with ASUS ROG Strix SCAR 2, so you can check it out. It was so quick, so now let's swap out the SSD. I'm not going to install different SSD because I don't have any, but I will just show you how to do it in case if you would like to swap your SSD. So the only thing you have to do is to remove one screw and pull out the SSD. If you install the new one, slide the SSD into the slot, 
press it down, screw the screw in and it's done. You can find compatible M.2 SSDs in the description too. Ok, so when we finish the job here inside, we have to close the bottom panel. So place it back on the laptop and press around the edges. Make sure that every tab clicked and the lid is placed properly. Now screw the screws and it's done. Alright, I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions feel free to ask in comments. If you liked it, it would be awesome if you leave thumb up, comment or maybe consider subscribing Tech Finds. On my channel you can find detailed laptop reviews, laptop comparisons, tutorials like this one and more. Now thanks for your time and see you in the next video.